I love this time of year because the visionary in me loves planning for the future. I get a lot of energy spending time reflecting on the year ahead and my dreams and my goals and what it is I want. And I also love to collaborate with my team around our shared goals and vision. And so recently we engaged in a good old SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And my colleague Amanda led us through this process and it was good, you know, good strengths, good weaknesses emerged. It felt like there was a ton of alignment. It felt like there was such a good foundation in our business for what it is we want. And I couldn't wait to get to the opportunities. And so when we did, you know, I listened to the team and there were some really good opportunities that emerged, but I had this feeling of it's not big enough. This is the, this is the easy stuff. I was like, these are the of course opportunities. So with a lot of heart and encouragement, I challenged the team to go bigger. I said to them, this feels like the low hanging fruit. What's the high hanging fruit? If this is the beginning of anything you want, like, what is it? What is it that you want? What are your dreams? And are they reflected on this sheet? And it led to some much bigger ideas, some much more aspirational ideas. It's a reminder that anytime you're doing any kind of planning or looking forward, it's the beginning of anything you want. So be intentional about ensuring that the things that you want, your dreams are showing up. What a great way to take care of yourself and ultimately each other.